Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of Google Ads series, we will understand a very important task that you need to perform inside your Google Ads dashboard. Otherwise, you will not be able to run Google Ads anymore. Recently, in last six or seven months, Google made it compulsory for every Google Ads advertiser to verify their identity. It means Google is now collecting data in terms of who the advertiser is actually. Are they any business? What kind of nature of business they are? Either they are personal brand or maybe they are an individuals. Either they are marketing agency or direct business. So whatever and you know who actually are they? Because I am talking about in India that India it is mandatory that if you are running ads on google you have to verify your identity so that google can know who is the actual person who is running google ads behind the scenes and in case of anything goes wrong they have the data of you so that they can take some legal action as per the government policies so inside the google ad dashboard whenever you create a new google ad account you'll start watching this error or you can say notification again and again and as you can see right now my account is paused why to restart your ads a complete advertiser verification now it is mandatory it is not optional it is mandatory as you can see the account has already been paused now here you need to click on this start here button click on the start here button as soon as you click on start here button you will be redirected to this window that is called advertiser verification or otherwise you can go to billings and come into this advertiser verification option as well now keep your documents ready let's say if you are in india then aadhar card passport driving license these are the acceptable options to verify your identity so keep these uh, you know soft copies handy in your laptop or in your device that you are using to verify your identity now here it says complete your task to get verified okay starts click on start task and once you click on start task now it will ask you some questions so now it's saying what you will need to verify your organization registered document i any of these document is acceptable in india any id to verify it's really you that is your driving license passport pan card or voter id these are acceptable documents based on your country rules and regulation you will see some other kind of documentation as well now click on start verification now it says enter the exact same name from the document to make sure uh you know we have the right you may update the name to match it means let's say if you are of having a firm sole proprietorship private limited or any kind of company you need to enter the exact same name which is on your legal documents don't you know make any kind of tweak or don't do any kind of mistake because it will match on the second step that whatever document you will upload it will match that so you need to men mention the name of the uh, company as per the legal document itself so for example here i am saying for example here i am saying my online master so here i am saying let's say my and my online master this is my company name for example right now it says upload your document whatever document is available certificate of incorporation gst vat society registration trust partnership utility bills right these are the acceptable documents which are available there and this is asking because if you have chosen your google ads account as an organization account that's why it is asking if you would have chosen your account as a personal account then it would not have been asked you to enter your organization instead it will directly ask you to enter your personal details like pan card aadhar card or maybe the driving license to verify your personal identity so here after updating everything so here after selecting all the things just click on start or click on next now it will ask you to street enter your organization address again the same address where your organization is registered or which is in your legal document so i am just putting some random address as of now don't put random address i am just showing you the step but you have to follow each and every step properly based on your documents then only click on submit otherwise even if you complete the steps google may fail your verification and then it will again ask you to re-verify and if if you uh, you know multiple times fail then it may suspend your account permanently so you have to follow all the steps as it is so here i am just putting these these things and just click on next as soon as you click on next it will show you the next steps now it says enter the exact same name from the document including your given name family name that is now that is your personal identity now so your name is this now what kind of uh, identity proof as an individual you are using so driving license uh, if you are using driving license then front of i uh, front and back if you are using passport then upload the passport photo pan card then pan card front and you know back voter id then voter id so whatever document you have with you soft copy just choose that so after selecting your document just click on next 
and now at the last it is asking for your own address which is mentioned on your e you know personal verification id not the organization one so i have entered some dummy address don't do dummy address everything should be properly i'm just explaining you the process and then finally click on submit now after you submit if there isn't any problem it will say verification could not be completed why because the uploaded document is not an accepted proof for organization document because google's ai or google machine learning algorithm can identify whether the document that you have uploaded is somewhere similar to accepted one or not if it is not the accepted one then it will not be able to accept that and then again you need to retry the verification but if you uploaded everything properly it will show you that verification completed you will get you know it is under review process and you will get final confirmation mail within one or two weeks and once you are finally verified then you're you will be able to use your account properly but don't do such kind of mistakes uh, you know that entering wrong name entering wrong password or entering wrong address but because if you fail multiple times it may suspend your account permanently so it is a mandatory step for every google ads account advertiser to verify their identity either personal or maybe the business owner because if you don't do it then your account is paused your account you will not be able to run advertisement that's how you can complete the advertiser verification and it is a must to do thing without this you will not be able to run google ads any further so guys that's it for this video i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye have a nice day